Morning, Giovanni. Um, first of all, if you could just have a squad update in terms of injuries for this match and then just your, your thoughts ahead of the game against Red Star, please. Um, we have only two players not available through injury, uh, and that's uh, Haji and, and Davis. Uh, the other ones are all training today, so we still have a training left before we, uh, we travel. And of course, the players who aren't uh, eligible to play in, in the Europa League. So we have quite a, a big squad to, 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 to take with us um, against, uh, you know, a strong opponent. We saw last week, you know, they uh, was a good game, uh, you know, uh, quite an even game. Of course, we won with three goal margin, which was for us a very good result to take with us. Uh, for the game tomorrow, but uh, we can expect uh, an opponent who will do everything to uh, overcome this, uh, you know, this uh, 3 0 loss last week. For us, it starts all over again. Uh, we just go into the game uh, preparing uh, the team to get a good result, and uh, that's all we, uh, we're going to do and uh, work hard to, uh, to win the next round after the game. Derek, please, Derek Clark. Okay, question for Giovanni. Um, Giovanni, a number of players walking on a, a suspension tightrope uh, tomorrow night. Um, does that alter your your thinking going into the game, or are you just asking players just to be extra careful out there? No. I mean, it's obviously when you are playing so many games in, in Europe, like we did, uh, you will always have players uh, on uh, one suspension away. Uh, yellow card, uh, but you know this, that's for every team, but uh, it won't affect our approach uh, uh, selecting uh, the team and I think also the players in the, in the, um, in the game don't, don't have to play uh, on, on a different way. We just hit there with the strongest 11 possible and we will do everything to, uh, to win this game and win this tie. That's the most important thing and then we will see after uh, the game who we have uh, available for the next game. Yeah. Andrew McLean, please. Hi, Giovanni. Uh, a lot of people talk about the hostile atmosphere at Red Star Belgrade Stadium. Is that something the players are going to have to relish if they want to put in the performance they, they want to tomorrow night? Well, we, we, we know we're going to go to a place where the, um, the, the atmosphere can be very, very hostile and uh, but you know that's that's uh, you know a thing we have to we have to cope with. I mean we have a quite an experienced team, so uh, we've been in in in, uh, in in places before where it's very hostile. And uh, but you have to uh, you have to deal with it. Make sure you mentally you are prepared, you tactically you are uh, uh, prepared, and also make sure you just concentrate on the game and and uh, play against the, the eleven other players. So. Uh, but it will uh, it will be a nice atmosphere to to play in, and uh, we have to enjoy that as well. Uh, Colin McMillan, please. Uh, hi, Giovanni. You mentioned before the first leg that you tend to find out more about an opposition after playing them. What did the first leg tell you, and has it changed your approach going to the second leg? Well, you you have um, of course, as I said before, you have a, a view of of a team you're playing against. Uh, because you watch a lot of games, you watch some uh, the patterns they have, uh, their strengths, their weaknesses. But uh, eventually, when you play them yourself, like we did last week, you know you have a much better view. Not only myself, but also the players. You can also uh, analyze that game uh, really well and prepare the the players again for for tomorrow. So, uh, but I think the outcome uh, of the analysis is the same. You know that we are going to play against. Uh, a very good opponent, and uh, that will, um, you know, that that won't change. Sahil, please. Giovanni, you said that the game starts all over again. But what will your message be to the players going into this with a three 0 lead from the first leg? And you know, mentally, how how do they how do they approach that? Is it to win again? And if they were to go one 0 down, how how will the team you get them to adapt and respond? Well, I think um, you you start over again. The, the the game last week is played. Now we're gonna play a new game, 
And I think we have to just approach the game to, uh, you know, to have the, the best result possible uh, tomorrow. And uh, don't go into the game already know that you are out, you have a three goal difference. So we have to bear from the first minute, uh, try to uh, be solid, try to uh, be dangerous as well in, at at, uh, at the right moments in the game. So that doesn't uh, that doesn't affect us. And of course, you will have. Uh, Moments in every game where you maybe go one 0 up or one 0 down, but um, you know, just just make sure you uh, we stick to our uh, tactical game plan and, um, and 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 make sure we do everything uh, we can to uh, to get a positive result um, after the game. Bob Blackmore, please. Sorry. Got uh, Sorry, got the uh, unmute, unmute button there. Um, Gio, um, Steve Clark, the Scotland's coach, was very, very fulsome in his praise of Ryan Jack. Obviously delighted to get him back for the Scotland squad. Strikes me as being the type of player that makes the players around him play. Has it been frustrating not to have him available to you in the squad for such a long time? Oh. Um... Well, well, of course, it's always um, you. You want your uh, your place to be available for games. So the same for Ryan. You know, we had to miss him um, a long time um, uh, this season through injury, uh, and uh, you could see his uh, his performances and what he brings to the team, which is very positive for me. So uh, to have him back in the, in the squad the last weeks, you know, it's. You know, for me, it's 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 good. It's also good for the team because we have a, a broad selection of players we can we can choose. And uh, you know, his performances are are really well uh, in the last week. So um, you know, that's always also because he get uh, picked again for Scotland. You know, he will you know give his uh, give his best for Scotland as well. And um, you know, his uh, his character, his attitude, and his you know his. Uh, his performances will also benefit uh, benefit Scotland, so I'm more than happy to to have him back. Um, you know, in, in the last weeks. Matt Olsen, please. Hi, Giovanni. Um, getting through tomorrow night, we'd add two more big games to an already important fixture list in, in April. How exciting and challenging a prospect would it be to have a to have a month of games where really everything was on the line in, in all three competitions? Well, you know, our, our, our main objective tomorrow is to to go through and to uh, to be in the next round of the of in in Europe. So that's um, that's very uh, very important for all of us, you know. And uh, you know, of course, you, you're gonna add two more games um, in April, but that's what you want. You want to be involved in uh, in, uh, in in all competitions. Uh, you know, at, at, at the end of the season, and uh, you know, we just add some uh, some 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 games against uh, you know uh, very quality quali quality wise, very strong opponents. So, you know, that's what you want when you are playing. That's what you want when you are a coach, and uh, that's I think also what you want as a club and, and the fans to uh, you know to play many many games at uh, at top level. So, um, you know, we just have to go out tomorrow and make sure we are in the next round. Robert Grief. Hi, Gio. You mentioned earlier about the atmosphere and the kind of occasion of what the game's going to be like you know, for the players. And there's a long walk from the players down the tunnel onto the pitch. There's going to be kind of real atmosphere down the same stadium. Can I actually bring the best out of the players? I mean, you're talking about dealing with it and coping with it, but is it something they should actually relish? Well, it's, it's um, yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's a challenge for us because. Uh, you know, to go out to uh, to a strong opponent in the atmosphere we're going to face tomorrow, and to get a good result, you know, that's a that's a that's a really big challenge for us, and that's uh, that's uh, that's why we go there to uh, to to have a positive result and to make sure to go to the next round. And of course, you know, some grounds are more difficult to go to, uh, than others, but um, I think this one is definitely one of them that um, that we all gonna see a, a, a great atmosphere tomorrow. Just the last couple, Michael Grant, please. Hi, Gio. The, the same issue, really, but um, when you go to a place like this, is, is there anything that you can do as a manager to tell the players how to cope with it or how to keep their nerve if, 
if it is getting hostile, or if Red Star score the first goal, for example? Uh, well, well GJ, make sure we, we are going into the game really well prepared and, and then prepared, I mean, in, in, in so sort of tactically wise, you know, how we want to defend, how we want to attack um, and make sure you we are also mentally uh, prepared to uh, to uh, to get over this, this challenge. But, um, you know, as I said before, we have quite a uh, uh, experienced side, uh, a team who played many games in Europe uh, in the last couple of years and and played also, um, you know, against uh, strong opponents. So, um, in that way, we are, um, we are, I, I think, well, well prepared. But uh, as I said, you know, it starts all over. Once the whistle goes, we have to be there. And uh, tomorrow won't be any different. Last two, we'll do Chris Jack and then Jordan Campbell, please. Question for Ryan, please. Hi, Ryan. These. Uh, these Europa League nights and old firm games always seem to bring out the best in you. What is it about that? And just to go back to the question April earlier on, what is it that you know, a run that's so exciting uh, potentially coming up with you know, league games, Europa League games, uh, and also the Cup semi-finals coming up as well? Um, I think probably the you know the level of opposition um, you know goes up, which you know tends to make the games a lot more open. Um, you know, both sets of teams want to play football. Um, you know, probably a lack of parking the bus or, you know, tripling up, doubling up on players, um, you know, gives me more opportunity to, you know, to do what I do. Um, you know, each player in the team, um, you know, probably raises the level a little bit more um, given the opposition in these games, um, you know, because it's a very exciting fixture. Uh, just John, please, just finish. Hi Ryan, um, this the majority of this squad been together for for four years now. Obviously, you've done brilliant in Europe together, but where do you would you say that the confidence ranks in this group now when it comes to this stage of the competition? And is there a sense that you could make this a a special season if you get through and you're competing in all these fronts? I've mentioned before, you know, after um, you know each each year of participating in this competition, that we've always wanted to improve on the previous year. Um, you know, which we have done so far and, um, you know, that's no different for this year. You know, we want to go as far as we can in this competition. Um, you know, we'll, you know, we try to have as much confidence going into every game. Uh, you know, that'll be no different going into this. Um, and hopefully the next round, you know, if we, if we go there with the right mentality um, for this fixture. Magic guys, see you there later on or tomorrow. Cheers.